Our Daily Bread Jesus taught his disciples according to pray in Luke 11 verse 1 after one of his disciples had said Lord teach us to pray as John also taught his disciples the teaching in Matthew 6 verse 11 give us this day our daily bread this petition of the Lord's Prayer teaches us to come to God in a spirit of humble dependence asking him to provide what we need and to sustain us from day to day it encourages us to make our needs known to him trusting that he will provide Jesus teaches us to pray that God would give us our daily bread among other things bread was a staple food in the diet of God's chosen people so Jesus used it as a metaphor furthermore bread was a powerful symbol of God's provision for his people in the Old Testament we remember how God cared for his chosen people when they were in the wilderness after their exodus from Egypt life in the wilderness was hard and soon the people began to complain that it would be better to be back in Egypt where they had wonderful food to eat in response to these complaints God promised to rain bread from heaven according to Exodus 16 verse 4 which says then the Lord said to Moses behold I will rain bread from heaven for you and the people shall go out and gather a certain quota every day that I may test them whether they will walk in my law or not while physical bread is nourishment for our bodies Jesus offers us spiritual bread that feeds our spiritual man and our spiritual lives he brings our souls to life by giving us spiritual bread which is food and staple diet for the spirit man and this spiritual bread gives us salvation and eternal life in heaven with him having said that the word bread in the Bible represents a lot of things what does it mean then when we say in our prayer give us this day our daily bread bread means much more than just the bread we eat the Word of God says in Deuteronomy 8 verse 3 so he humbled you allowed you to hunger and fed you with manna which you did not know nor did your fathers know that he might make you know that man shall not live by bread alone but man lives by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord and in Matthew 6 verse 11 Jesus taught us to pray give us today our daily bread Jesus calls himself the bread of life according to John 6 verse 35 and Jesus said to them I am the bread of life he who comes to me shall never hunger and he who believes in me shall never thirst this verse represents the first I am statement of Jesus in the Gospel of John people had come to Jesus looking for another miracle and for more free food instead Jesus says they need to be seeking the true bread from heaven in order to obtain eternal life in other words Jesus was saying people need to believe and seek the one sent by God who can give eternal life bread is and remains at least in many communities a powerful symbol of the rudimentary basis of the provision for our needs the term breadwinner is a colloquial term for the primary or sole income earner in a household breadwinners by contributing the largest portion of the household income generally cover most household expenses and financially support their dependents 
This is why people refer to someone as he or she as the breadwinner, meaning that he or she is the one who earns the wages to support and provide food for the family. In this case, the word bread is being used as a synonym for money. Bread represents all the necessities of life. The prayer for our daily bread does not mean you sit and do nothing and wait for God to hand you money for the daily bread. You have got to work. It is scriptural that we have to work in order to put bread on the table. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10 For even when we were with you, we commanded you this. If anyone will not work, neither shall he eat. Even the chosen race had to go out and pick up the manna when they lived in the wilderness. After God had promised to rain manna for them, they had to go out of their tents to pick up food daily. For Proverbs 14 verse 23, In all labor there is profit, but idle chatter leads only to poverty. Meaning, mere talk without working puts no bread on the table. Bread in the Bible also represents God's Word, for the Bible is necessary for survival of the spirit man. It is the bread of life, which is why our Lord Jesus said, Man does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord, as mentioned before. The Bible, however, cannot nourish us if it sits on a shelf, unopened. For it to feed us spiritually, we need to spend time reading it. If you truly want to experience God's grace and feel His presence, we have to read His Word. We must spiritually eat the bread He has given us. Joshua said in Joshua 1 verse 8, The book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate in it day and night, that you may observe to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous, and then you will have good success. In other words, he was saying that believers need to eat this word for spiritual survival. He said, this book of the law, meaning that it is a book full of the laws of God, which if we consume it spiritually, we will live. The Bible is full of the Word of God, which is the bread of life for the spirit man. And as long as we abide in the Word of God and the Word abide in us, we will not be hungry or malnourished. The Word of God will feed us and keep us satisfied. However, for you and me to be fed by this Word, we need to have the discipline of reading it. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 10 says, Now may he who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food Supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness. God has this habit of keeping his end of the bargain. He supplies bread for food. He gives bread to the eater and gives us our daily bread. All that is left for us as children of God is to take the initiation of partaking. Whether it is spiritual bread or physical bread, you and I need to be grateful for this provision. Like the children of God, we need to know and understand the element of daily provision. They were instructed to collect a daily portion. Now as believers, let's understand the concept that as we feed upon the Word of God, we do it on a daily basis. The reason why God told his children to only gather a daily portion so that nothing is left over. As for us, the Lord taught us to pray and ask for daily bread. 
It was so that we guard our hearts against greed and discontent. The Lord is teaching us that we are to ask for what we need and not for the excesses of our self-indulgency. As humans, we normally have the tendency of overestimating our physical needs and underestimate our spiritual needs. This is why the word bread denotes everything necessary to sustain life. And God is our provider and we should rely on him to provide from the smallest thing to the most crucial things for our existence. Therefore, we should look up to him for our daily bread. God bless you.